Look at that fish. <laughs> that is a toad. Best fish of my life. We are starting today's episode off with a giveaway. This is my Super 6 bag that I got in December. As you guys can tell, I got the red suede, man. It's looking hot, but this is what we're gonna be giving away that was inside of that bag. So I've already filmed a video of that, So and there's a few lures that I haven't used, and these are some awesome ones right here. So the first one that I'm gonna be giving away is the Crush 50S right here. And this is a silent. When that's what 50S stands for. Beautiful pattern. This is in baby crappie. Just an awesome square build color right there. And then the second bait is going to be the Divine Shaky Head Worms right here. And this is in watermelon scents. You guys know I've talked about these. They kept some big fish. If you guys want to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button and also comment below some video ideas if you would like for the Fishing for Giants series. But I also need to announce the last giveaway winners for the two gift cards. I will pop you guys' names up on the screen right now. Congratulations. Be sure to DM me on my personal Instagram at Noah Pescatelli and I'll get those gift cards sent out to you. But let's go ahead and hop in to this Fishing for Giants episode. Fishing for Giants season two, episode two. I'm so excited to bring this one to you guys. I hope you enjoyed the last episode. If you guys haven't seen it, I suggest you go check it out. It kind of introduces this series, um, has some awesome fish catches in it, and I really think you guys will enjoy it. But today, we're gonna be on the hunt again for some giant bank fishing bass. We're gonna cover a lot of water today. The conditions honestly aren't the best. They haven't been the best at all this week. The pressure's been super high. I believe we just had a full moon last night, if I'm not mistaken. So today's gonna be a grind. It's gonna be one of those days that we just put our heads down, cover a lot of water, fish a lot of areas, and try to hunt for those big bass. So let's go ahead and talk about what we're gonna be throwing today. So as of right now, this is what I have tied on. I got a Mach 2 right here, 17 pound fluorocarbon with a six cents quake. And this is that color I've been talking about that I've just been killing it on. Um, it's called the brown eye. If you guys wanna go check it out and get a discount, I'll pop my code up on the screen. But this one has really been getting it done for me, and especially with the big bass. Um, late winter, they start to eat these, you know, crawfish pattern baits, but this one's just different. It's got like a darker red to it with some like gold and yellow on the bottom. For my second bait, I have a small black and blue jig right here. It's gonna be great in some of the dirty water that we're gonna be fishing today. It's a finesse jig, you know, it's super small, um, but if the bite is tough, we can move on to this and see if we can catch a few fish. And this is paired up on the Pro TI combo. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in to episode two of Fishing for Giants. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's get it started. Get us a giant four or five plus maybe even a six or a seven if we're lucky no way first cast first cast look at that oh shoot uh, that could have been really bad well first cast we got one i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing jimmy calm down no 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 let me just get you back in the water okay well uh that is not what we're looking for but first casts First fish. That's pretty impressive, not gonna lie. I just hope that doesn't jinx us. And I got at least like 30 kids watching me fish right now. Like they're waiting at their bus stop and uh, <laughs> they're just looking over here. So if you guys hear any kid noises, that, that is exactly what that is. Oh, come on, big one. One just slam some on the bank all the way on the other side. Oh my God, that's perfect. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. Yep. Oh man, giant. No, stay pin, stay pin, stay pin, stay pin. Oh my gosh. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, he ain't even that big. He's pretty good though. Mm. That's three pounder all day. Oh, yes. 
Oh, yes. <laughs> Dude, that's a three pounder. He's over that. He might be three and a quarter. Oh my gosh, he was barely hooked. He just started schooling over there on the quake in brown eye. That color, I'm telling you guys, this color recently has been killing it for me. It's not like a super bright red, but it's got like some yellowish gold on the side with a black back. This color seriously has been just killing them. I can't catch them on like a super bright red right now, but this one is just killing it. And that is a solid three pound fish right there. We can give him a weight. Now that I'm looking at him more, he's probably two and three quarters. I don't know, hopefully he'll get that three. But let's give him a wait. I saw that fish go school up on the bank. He ate some shad. And I got that cast perfect. And sure enough, he bit me. All right, zeroed out. Oh, yeah, let's go, guys. Great start. Oh, oh. 214. Two ounces away from three pounds. All right. What a beautiful fish. We can call you three pounds, guy. Fatty. Beautiful markings. And that is a great way to start today. Thank you, buddy. There he goes. Let's get back in there, guys. <laughs> that was awesome. There he is. Oh, gosh. Mm. Let's go. Oh, that is a beautiful one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just about a pound and a half, but okay. Third fish today. We are getting somewhere now. It's been a tough little deal. We've been out here for a while, but you know what? As long as we're catching them like this, I do not care. About a pound and a half, not a giant. But a beautiful fish. Oh yeah, thank you for buying, buddy. That is a long guy, you know, he's got a thick body. He's not like super fat. That is just a long fish. Get you back in, man. There he goes. This is very dumb. What am I doing? This is very dumb. I just wanna know if there's fish in here. I don't even get the point of me even doing this. How in the heck am I going to get a fish up here? All right, I've never been here, but this looks like some sauce. I got a small micro jig on. And there's a couple pipes right here. That looks like one would sit right there, 100%. Try a fluke. Throwing some different things at this place. I've never seen so many people sketched out of the wrapped truck with my name on the side it on the side of the road. Like I said, I've never been to this place, but there is no no fishing signs. I'm not standing in anybody's property. I'm just chilling right here on the side. So I don't understand the problem. The lady's still sitting at a stop sign up there. If she has a problem with me, she better come say something. But she's probably gonna sit there and call the cops because you know that's how people do nowadays. Because I'm a potential threat, you know. I'm just uh, over here, just scary as can be throwing a fishing rod in the water. You know, she has to call the cops because that's just, oh my gosh, just, oh, just breaking the laws, you know. There he is, that's not a bass. Oh, or maybe. Oh, it is. Oh my gosh. We got him. We got him. Oh yeah. Let's go baby on the jig, on the baby jig. Oh yeah. Let's go. Not a big one, but that is a beautiful one right there. Gosh, about a pound. That is a beautiful little fish. First one at this new place, these little canals that we're fishing and uh, not a big one, but a solid pounder. And we know that there's bass in here now. He ate it almost like a blue or yeah, like a little bluegill or some like smaller fish, but this is the little jig I'm throwing, just tiny little finesse profile, especially on a tough day like today. Um, let's cast back in there, see if we can catch another one. Hey, so hard 
to catch them out here. Yeah. Oh, I just had one. They're slapping it. They're not eating it. Oh. There he is. That, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Meet your phone. All right. Guys, we got a big one on right now. Oh, yeah. He slapped it right before. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's a four and a half, five pounder. That's about four. All right. That's exactly what we want. First fish of this place. I can't get my hands around them. Look at that. That is the fattest bass I've caught in such a long time. Look at the girth. Oh my gosh. He slapped it right before he ate it that other time. He's on that drop off out there that I was talking about. That's a four pounder. <whistles> Crazy thing is that's a four pounder in a three pounder's body. He's just that fat. We're gonna weigh him. That's exactly what we were looking for today. Searching for giants, fishing for giants. That's what we need right there. <whistles> this color, I'm telling you guys, something about it. It's called brown eye. That color right there, I don't know what it is, but that thing just has been catching the donks and look at the fat tummy on him. All right, let's get a weight on him. I'm gonna say he's three and three quarters, pushing four. He looked so big when I flopped him in. I was like, dang, it's a five pounder. But no, he's a four though. Hopefully he reaches four, but he might be a little shy. That is just a, that is, that is a good one. That's what you wanna catch. Yep, he's a four, four. Four pounds, three ounces, baby, right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a four pounder and a three pounder's body. Just so fat. Oh, that's so good. Oh man, you guys better smash the like button on this. This series is gonna be awesome. Four pounds, three ounces, beautiful fish. We're gonna get him back in the water and see if we can catch another giant. That's exactly what we're looking for on Fishing for Giants. God, look at his belly. It's all because of that belly all because of that belly look at that. that's a three pound body or that's a three pound body frame oh my gosh calm down jimbo oh yo you need to chill yo you give me yo really look how much mud he just kicked up on me i'm covered in mud now thanks bro piece of crap ah get in there fat turd look at this he got me all muddy probably got the lens muddy look at my hand I got mud all over me now. That's nice. That was worth it though. I think that deserves us going on a mission and saying screw it. We're gonna go around a majority of this place, try to catch some big ones. Man, that feels great to hook a four plus pounder. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. We're gonna keep hunting and uh, we're gonna try to catch some even bigger ones. And I think we can get it done, but we're just gonna have to be patient, cover a lot of water, and um, just chuck this quake around because the quake seems to always catch the giants. I don't seem to catch too many small ones on it. Even though I wouldn't mind small ones right now, we are going all through the jungle and I am all muddy too. <laughs> that's, uh, that's fishing for you. Always something happening. There he is, big and he choked it too, I feel like. Oh, he's fighting. What? Oh, he has it like that. That's why you feel so big, you turd. He's a good one though, gosh. Oh, hey, you scared me. Hey buddy, you wanna see a fish? Come here. Hey brother, I used to see this cat all the time. You wanna see him? Come here. Come here, buddy. Let me get the hook out, hold on. Yeah, you wanna? Oh, don't rub up on them, it'll make you smell. Hey, look, you see a fish? Yeah, it's a fishy, it's a fishy. You used to come see me all the time. Ooh, don't rub your face on them. You used to come see me all the time. I haven't seen you in like a year, buddy. All right, well, that's a solid two pounder. Can say bye to your friend? Look, yeah, I thought he was a giant. No, don't rub up against them. You crazy cat. All right. I thought that was way bigger than the last one, guys. I'm serious. He felt so large. He got a clamshell in his mouth or something. What in the freak? That fish destroyed it. You need to come on the boat with me. We can go fishing. 
All right, you want to see another fish? I'll catch one for you. You're just a fishing machine. I'm just walking the bank, guys, and he just comes with me. Watch. What did I say? Okay. Ooh, I got your nose. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Sorry, bud. You're not what we're looking for, but I do appreciate the bite. Yo, yo, that thing about jerked the rod out of my hand. That's a good one. Oh yeah. It's an easy two and a three quarters, two and a half. Holy cow. The heads on these things are so freaking large. Look at that. That's almost three pounder. Look at how short his tail is. It's been a while since we had a bite and he freaking destroyed it. I thought it was on like a tree or something. Look at that. That's almost a three pounder. Two and three quarter, okay. Wow. Oh man, today has turned into a pretty solid day to say the least. It started off really slow. We put in the work, we kept grinding, we didn't stop. We walked around a lot, covered a ton of water. And so far guys, today is going pretty good. You know, you have those days where it's just hard to get those bites, but you know, sometimes if you just put your head down, keep grinding it out, cover a bunch of water, Keep your big bass energy high, keep your positivity high, and uh, you can just keep catching them. Holy cow, holy cow. Oh, almost a three pounder. Jeez, solid two and a half right there. Gosh, that was the shortest cast I made all day. Oh, look at that, he came right off. That's a solid two and a half. Right there, just flipped right by that tree. This might've been the one that uh, swirled at me earlier right here. And that's what I was thinking. I was like, there might be one just pushed up shallow watching me go by him every time. I whip it out in the middle on the drop-offs and sure enough, he ate it right there. Beautiful fish. Thank you for biting. Two and a half pounder. Get you over there in the water. There we go. 